All right, let's look at Panorama CS12 and how I'm setting it up. Right now, I did a little work already. Loudness button right here. Oh, it's the main knob in red, input gain in blue, top left, kind of matching. These are the buttons that activate thick, clean, calm, and tape. And these knobs here um, basically control the percentage. These sliders that are underneath it. Uh, wide, you know, the right, and then the EQ section, low, high, mid, Here again, the input gain, so kind of matches. You have to think a little bit, how can I match what's in front of me the best with what I am working with? Would more buttons be better? Yep, more knobs better? Sure. Adjust the colors here, because it really doesn't stand out. The way to do it is you press shift, and then press down on data menu, enter, and then hit set color and then here you turn and it gives you on the on the digital screen here or on the screen i should say what what non-digital screen do we have um it tells you the colors i'm going for green there's typically a green two a green one red red one and so forth so here the eq section is in green i'm going to remember that and if you stay consistent across your plugins you can always say okay q sections will be green in channel strips or whatever uh, can't hurt to be a little bit consistent. So now I have two more buttons here. Um, they're underneath the screen. I'm going to use that, them to activate multiband compressor and smooth, which is a gentle compressor. So I then can toggle between the different compressor types that I want to activate during my uh, mix bus processing and mastering processing. That's really easy. You've got 10 fingers at your disposal rather than just one mouse. And you can target everything really quickly. So yeah, the data menu wheel is pretty important. You can press down on it. Um, and then the shift button. It's already a little bit worn, I think. Maybe I'm just imagining that, but I've been pressing it a lot because I've been customizing pretty much every plugin. Um, one tip, make sure you save. If you don't save, if you turn Panorama CS12 off, it's going to lose the latest changes. Pretty neatly configured. Thick, clean, multi, smooth, calm, tape, all that is um, hardwired to buttons. And then the knobs, I can dial in how much thickness, how much cleanliness, which is basically a mud reducer and thickness is low end. Um, and then also the EQ section. So really enjoying it for plugins like this that have like about the same amount of features that the controller has. Again, I must say, you know, if you have a horizontal layout uh, of a plugin that works best, um, but that's about it. So yeah, we'll do a few more of these tips and tricks. CS12, Master Plan, Music Hack, check it out. And we're gonna do a review of Fuel by Music Hack as well. That's a good one.